If we want to accurately represent a geometry, or achieve high fidelity results, we usually have to refine mesh in certain regions. It can be done in SimFlow in two ways, during mesh generation, or when we have already created the mesh. Let's set up the meshing settings so that the mesh will be refined during mesh generation. In order to do this, we need to go to the hex meshing panel and expand the list of options for the geometry which we want to mesh. Of course, the Mesh Geometry button has to be enabled, and now, here, we can increase the refinement level. It will allow us to refine the mesh, but only on the surfaces of the geometry, not in the volume of the computational domain. So, set the refinement level to zero, which means that the mesh will not be refined, and we will use additional geometry to refine the mesh in a volume in the central part of the catalytic converter. Let's move to the Geometry panel and create a box geometry. The box is almost invisible in the graphic window, but when we change its origin to, for example, 0, 0, and 0, and dimensions to 20, 20, and 20, we will be able to see it. We can also adjust the box size by pressing Ctrl and left-clicking on the arrowhead. This way we can change the length of the box in each direction. If we press Ctrl and click on the line, we will be able to move the whole geometry. We can refine the mesh in the central part of the catalytic converter, so we should position the box using the arrows attached to it, or by typing its origin and dimensions. Now, we should go to the hex meshing panel again, and enable the Refine Geometry button for the box geometry. There are a few refinement options available here. For example, we can refine the mesh at a certain distance from the geometry, inside or outside the geometry. We should increase the refinement level, which will be applied within the box volume, for example to 1. Then, of course, we should remember that the material point must be located inside the catalytic converter geometry, and next we can go straight to the Mesh tab and click the Mesh button. There you go, this is the end result, and as you can see, the mesh has been refined in the box region. What we can also do is that we can refine the mesh after the mesh was created. In order to do this, we should go to the Mesh panel, expand the list of options for the default mesh region, and choose the Refine tool. In this window, which appeared on the left-hand side, we can specify in which region we want to refine the mesh and set the refinement direction. If we want to refine the mesh only in the X direction, we should uncheck Y and Z directions and click the Refine button. The mesh will be modified so that each mesh cell within the box geometry will be divided into two in the x-direction.